Hi, this is Dave, KE0OG, and we're just going to take a very brief look at Packet Radio this evening. What you see in front of you is uh, from the web. It shows a, a very popular radio, a first radio for hams that's at quite a reasonable price here uh, and makes a great first radio. Now, Packet Radio requires an extra piece to it. There's, you use this radio, plus you need something that is called a terminal node controller. Here is a picture of a popular one that's uh, found at Ham Radio Outlet by Cantronics called the KPC3+. Plus. This is called a terminal node controller, and it sits between the radio and your computer. And now what I'm going to do is use a TNC that I have and show you what Packet can do. We've connected everything to the PC here. I'm going to turn on the terminal load controller and you get the power up right here. Now I'll note in here that uh, um, my call is in the machine is KE0OG, which is exactly what I want. Now I'm going to do something here. I'm going to connect to a uh, another packet machine. It's on top of WaterDog Mountain. I just put in here connect KB0YNA dash. Eight, and uh, we'll see what we get uh, coming back. We're now connected. Now, if I do help right here on this particular machine, since it happens to have some special features on it, one of the things that you'll see right here is this thing called BBS. Let's just type in BBS and see what we get. Now, BBS stands for Bulletin Board uh, System, and what we're getting back down from it is some instructions on what to do, and I'm going to leave a message for myself. I'm going to send a message to KE0OG. That's me, but it doesn't matter. Okay, and it asks for the subject. This is a demonstration of packet um, mailbox. Okay, and now it's going to ask me for the, the message. This shows what packet can do. A person can leave a message uh, for another person to be picked up later, even if that other person is not on the air when the message is put on the BBS. Okay, and I'll just say 73D Dave D. 0G, and then we'll end that message. Okay? And it has uh, come back to us, and it's telling us here that uh, uh, we're fine. Okay? So let's take a look here. We're going to disconnect from this. Okay, and it's going to tell us we're disconnected. So now we're not connected to anything. If I were to try to put in a disconnect, I'd get that. Now let's reconnect and see what that message is. Pretending I'm some other station, maybe on the other side of the valley, because uh, lots of people can see WaterDog. So I'm going to connect to that KB0YNA, and it's dash 8, which is the node up on top of WaterDog. Okay, I'm connected, and now I'm going to type in the command, BBS. Okay, and um, now that I'm here, it says I have a message waiting. So I'm going to list with an L the messages that I have, and it'll come back and tell me that my message is number two. So I'm going to read two, and there we have it. Read number two is going to be coming up here, and there it is. A demonstration of packet mailbox uh, via KB0YNA. This shows what packet can do. There it is, the complete message. Now, um, I can reply to this message. I, I can do other things. This is just a very simple example of how it's possible for one ham somewhere in the area can be quite a ways to leave a message for another ham. It's also possible to connect to this packet bulletin board using other packet stations as repeaters, but we won't show that today. In this case, I'm going to just go by, and we will disconnect, and that's that.